And I'm going to start with one or two questions about possible source material. For example, um, I thought that conceivably Midgard might be Middle Earth or have some connection. Oh, yes, they're the same word. Most people have made this mistake in thinking Middle Earth is this particular kind of Earth or is another planet and, uh, you know, in the science fiction sort, but it's simply an old-fashioned word for, the, for this world we live in, as imagined surrounded by the ocean. I've yeah. been interested in the fact that many of the names of which you have created, thousands in, in the book, I mean, literally thousands, are very close to Norse legend names. For example, Gimli is the name of the Hall of, of ah, Gold. That's it? another point, yes. Yeah. This particular lot of dwarves, as I call them, came from the extreme north of my geography. And therefore, in translating, as I explained in the, in the section on translation, uh, the kind of language they came up against there would be of a northern kind. The dwarves, you remember, are represented as extremely secretive people and have private names in their own secret language and public names like, like gypsies. Well, therefore, I gave the north actual Norse names, which are in Norse books. That's quite different. Not that the, my dwarves really are at all like the dwarves of, uh, of Norse imagination, but there's a whole list of rather attractive... Uh, dwarf names in, in one of the older Hedaic poems, I'm afraid I simply begged them. The hobbits are just well, rustic English people, made small in size because it reflects the uh, general small reach of their imagination, but it's not the small reach of their courage or latent power. <laughs> 